Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate data manipulation using EasyR package. If you're new to this software, you can download it from the link given in the description of this video. Once you install the software, the icon of EasyR can be found in your system. Double click on this icon and a window, R console will open. A few seconds later, another window, R commander will pop up. Please do not close the R console window. Instead, minimize it. And now you can start working on R Commander. For the purpose of demonstration, I am making use of this Excel sheet, which contains information on few categorical variables and a few quantitative variables. If you wish to use this data, you can download this from the description of this video. Now we will see how to import this Excel file to R Commander. To do so, go to the option File. Import data from Excel data set. If you wish to give a new name to the data set, you can do it here, or else you can proceed with the default name and click OK. If you have already loaded some data set in the past, you can just overwrite it by clicking on Yes. And now select the data set that you would like to import and click Open. If there are multiple sheets in the Excel sheet, you can select the specific one and then go ahead. Now you can see that in the bottom of the window, you will find a messages where you can see that the data set has 405 rows and 16 columns. If you wish to view this data, you can click on this tab and here is the data set. On viewing the data set, you can see that the variable gender is coded as one and two. If you wish to specify what 1 and 2 means, you have to relabel this variable. And to do this, you go to this option Active Data Set Variables, Convert Numeric Variables to Factors. By selecting the variable of interest, which is gender, you can proceed by clicking OK. And you can overwrite this variable by clicking on Yes. And here, specify what 1 and 2 means. Here, 1 represents male and 2 represents female. And click OK. If you view this data set now, you can see that the variable gender is no more represented by 1 and 2. Instead, it is now male and female. Now, let us see how we can create a new variable based on the information that we already have in our data set. For instance, I have information on height and weight for every participant, and I wish to calculate the variable BMI. To do so, go to the option Active Data Set, Variables, Create New Variable. Here, you need to specify the new variable name, which in this case is BMI. And under Expression to Compute, you have to type the formula of BMI, which is weight divided by height square. Double click on the variable weight, divide, open bracket, variable height, multiplied by variable height, and then close the bracket and click OK. Now, click on the view tab to view the data set, scroll to the end, and you will find that the new variable BMI is created. Further, if you wish to categorize this variable BMI, as underweight, normal, overweight, and obese, you need to use the option Active Data Set Variables bin numeric variable to more than two groups with specified thresholds. By clicking on this option, you need to specify the variable BMI as you wish to categorize it, and here specify the new variable name, or else the existing variable BMI will get overwritten. To avoid that, specify a new name. As you wish. And here you have to specify the group name. The first category of BMI is underweight. The second category of BMI is normal. Third category is overweight. And the fourth category is obese. Here you need to specify the threshold of BMI. As you know, less than 18. BMI is categorized as underweight. So let us specify that value. 
18 to 25 BMI is considered to be normal. So let us specify 25 here. 18, 25 to 30 is considered as overweight and more than 30 BMI is considered as obese. So you need not specify the upper limit here. Once you have done all these procedure, just click on OK and you will see that a new variable has been created. If you wish to view this variable, go to the View tab, open the data set, scroll to the end and now corresponding to every value of BMI, you can see the category in which each individual belongs to. This is it for now. We will see you in the next video. Thank you.